and let's now create this uh, broken fence here so we can just go with shift right click again cube S to scale this all down, SX to scale this on X axis, SY to scale this on Y axis, Control A apply scale. Now I will go with Shift D to place one down, Shift D again, RX 90, no, RY 90. Scale this down, SZ to scale this on the axis, Shift the X and Shift R to repeat last step. And now we can select all these parts. And now I will go with uh, I will go with control J to join this in only one object and I will go with shift the X but uh, I think this part should go here a little more on left and this one here if we want to follow this reference okay and what I can do now I can go to edit mode numpad 1 and I can just uh, move this to about here and I can press L select this tree and go with shift the X place this here okay I duplicate one uh, edge and I can delete vertices And let's now add uh, a lot of uh, imperfections here, so I will go with tab, select this and uh, I will first maybe delete two of this. Now I will press L, no, uh, Control R, move this here, maybe this one. And maybe we can also this one move here. And next is planks. So I want to create these planks here. And uh, for this I download one texture from texture.com and I will share this with you. So I will now first create first plane here. So shift and uh, right click. Now I will go with cube. 2 meter is on x axis is ok but uh, on y I want set this to 2 cm. So I will type here 2 cm. And on Z axis I want to make maybe 15 centimeters. Okay, now we have one planks and I can go with numpad slash key to isolate this. Control A apply scale. And I will go with numpad 1, shift D Z. Move this to about here and shift D Z again. And maybe one more time. And now I will open here shader editor and I will create new material and I will call this planks. Now I will just uh, drag and drop this texture but you can use any texture you find on the internet. On the, this reference I see that uh, these planks are white so that's the reason I download this white texture and now I will plug this uh, here to base color okay and we cannot see anything because uh, we are not in material preview so click here to go to material preview and now because this one have this material we can select all this and with control R 
control L we can just link material you can see this yellow line so this that's mean that this is main selected object and we need select this one with holding shift and click here we need select this one because this one have this material and now control L link material or you can just uh, go here under material settings and you can just drag and move drop this here okay now i can go i will select all this edit mode u q projection now i project this uh, better but uh, i need uv editor here so i will split this window and i don't need this tab and uh, now i will select from here uv editor now i can select this uh, with face selection this face here first i will uh, scale i will select this face here and i will press a scale this little select this one and uh, scale this project to another one and this one maybe here okay now we have four different variation of this and if we now go to individual origin and rx we can rotate this little on x axis to get this effect first i want to make some seams here so i will go with control r scroll mouse up to add two of these uh, loop cuts control b scroll mouse down alt e extrude along normals and just move this down now i can select only these two edges and i can go with control b to create bevel here okay and uh, if you go to object mode you can see this here the uh, seams here maybe uh, i will add here one in middle control r control b and i can scroll mouse up to add one more now i can go with control numpad minus to subtract selection and now i will press s to scale this down and i can go again with control numpad plus to expand selection now control b to bevel But uh, now I know that I need one shorter for this part and one shorter also here. So what I will do, I will duplicate this with Shift X and I will make uh, another variation here. Now I will go to Material Preview and what I can do in X-ray mode, I can select all this part and delete vertices. No, this uh, this will not work so I can just move this here but you can see that uh, I also stretch this uh, texture here but uh, if we enable this correct face attributes we will not stretch this anymore so I will move this to about here and let's move this here okay now we have one shorter part and let's now back with numpy slash key to our scene. But we can go to solid preview because it, it is much uh, easier to see where is this. And now I will, um, with selected this material, I will change just viewport display color. So this is visible only in viewport in solid preview. And I will change color to make this easier to see. Okay. Now I will select these bigger parts and Let's place a uh, few here. Let's move this up. Let's place this here. So I will go with numpad one. I make this uh, too small, but this is not so big problem. So I can just go with S, X and I can place this here. And now I will go with uh, 
shift dz or because I don't want to make uh, any variation here I will go with alt d z to make instance of this object now all these are part of same object but uh, and this uh, will save some memory in our scene and now I will again select this I will go with uh, alt d x to move this about here I will uh, press sx to scale this a little and I can go I can do same with this one so sx to cover all this area alt dz So just be sure to cover all this area and this will look fine. Okay, now we can make some variation also here. If you want, go with R, Y. So set this to individual and Rx, maybe Ly. Okay, let's see how this look uh, now in render preview. Let's now duplicate few of this with Shift D, back this to bounding box and RY Knight. Maybe we can place a few of these heroes. 